Yo, what's good people? It's your boy Tamara. Just about living out another day. Um, this is like this is a morning after video after I damn near killed myself last night. Uh yeah. So I've been trying to cut weight for summer. I know it's pretty late, but I'm really trying to cut weight. And our management yesterday brought us Dutch pies, which is like um different types of cakes. You got cheesecake, you got tarts. Um, all this kind of stuff and they got like an assortment box and because I knew they were getting it for us I decided not to eat too much for lunch at work. So I had just a yogurt And then I had my Dutch pie and then some of my co-workers and I went down to a place called the rooster where we get Like drinks, but then every first Friday of the month you get free drinks for one hour at six till seven So I went there now Got there a bit early because I had I had like a reading club after work. So instead of going home and then going to the rooster, what I did was I just went straight from work to the rooster. And in the hour that I had, I had a talk with my mom, um, my brother's Instagram. I just chilled. It was pretty nice. It was like a really relaxed bike ride there because the weather wasn't too hot. It wasn't too cold. It was just good. Whew. So I get that. I've been drinking. JT and Harry get there. Um, I ended up meeting some other guys and girls at the bar. It was hella nice. Everyone was just vibing. And I haven't, I don't drink lately. Like, I haven't been out, out on a night out since like February. Wait, wait, I forgot to drop in the date today. The date is, let me get my phone real quick. The 5th, 5th of June. And I haven't been out on a night out. That wasn't even a night out. I was only there till what, maybe like 8, 9. And I'm drinking, 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 drinking. I'm like, and I'm there in my uh, cheapskate mode. I'm like, yo, this is free. I need to finish one of these. Like, I got like a Prosecco. And I was like, I need to finish this in like 15, 10, 15 minutes. So I can go back and get another one. Why? Because it's free. I'm looking to like capitalize on this. So that once it gets later, I don't really need to buy any drinks. I'm just going to go get this now. Because, <laughs> oh, I was just feeling it. I got off work. It's a Friday. I ain't got no... My head's fucked up, bro. I ain't got no tutoring. I ain't got nothing on the Saturday. And it was a vibe. Everyone was pretty cool. Um, one of the guys there, actually, we have a drinking comp. Well, he has a drinking competition that's coming up today. And he asked me to take part in his team. Because I was just banging them drinks back. But I don't know if I'm even going to go. I was so wasted. What I t I'm going to tell you. So it got to the point where... I was just like, maybe I'll go home. And then Harry's like, oh, but by his place, they're going to a chicken and egg or something. I was like, you know what? I'll go. Cool. So I went with him there. But then after I got there, I had like one more drink and I was finished. I completely didn't take into account that I haven't actually eaten anything. Apart from a yogurt and a piece of cheesecake at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. So... It gets to like 8 and I was like, I need to go be sick real quick. So I walk in, walk in, walk in, find myself a corner, just empty myself. And I was like, it's time to go home. But then the alcohol really clicked in after I was sick. So I went down to go back and find Harry. And I'm like, Harry, you know what? I don't even know if I want to try and make myself like get home at this point can i just crash at yours because his is like real close and he's like yeah sure it's fine don't worry i'm like cool and then we're walking and i'm like oh ooh, i'm bad i'm in the bad so then he was like you know what i'm gonna get you some water and this son of a bitch he don't get me like a bottle of water he doesn't get me just like a normal bottle of water. he gets me this this guy Brought me a five liter bottle of water when I fucked up. And I took this shit off. I didn't even open this yet. I didn't even open this bottle of water. I took it with me in the back of the taxi at going home. Like, and I'm carrying it. Bear in mind I'm drunk, so carrying this shit, I'm just swinging. I'm rocking and swinging under the weight of this fucking bottle. But I didn't leave it behind. Because I'm bringing every man with me home. My bag got taken home. I'm surprised I didn't lose none of my stuff though. And I'm like the responsible person on the night I usually. I'm like one that's like, it's time for me to go home and out. 
But my laptop, because I came from straight from work, but I had my, or my laptop, my chargers, my phone, my earphones, they're all with me. I'm proud of this. But I got into the Didi, and I was kind of just like, they're speaking in Chinese to the guy. Because I, I got back, obviously, it's like a, it's like a Uber, but it's, but it's called Didi out here. So I get back, and I'm right in front of my apartment, by the way. I'm right in front of my apartment, but I don't know where I am. So I'm in the back, I'm just like, and he's like, Omadala, which means we've arrived, right? And I'm just there, like, where are we? Can you help me go home? Uh, I don't know where this is. I don't know where we are. <laughs> and he's like, you've put, this is the place where you put in. He's like, look at your phone. And I'm looking at my phone and I can just see lights. I'm surprised, like, in the end, I was just asking him, like, can, can you help me go home? I want to go to Mao Tai Lu. I need to go to Mao Tai Lu. Oh, dog. I'm like, just the station that's close to, to my, the station's fine, the road name is fine, by Lo Shan Guan, that's the, that's the name of the place I need to go to, and he's like, we're here, we're here, and bear in mind, this guy was pretty patient, he was just like, we're here, we are here, we're here, we've arrived, we're here, we're here, and I don't see, I, I gave up. I gave up, got out of bed. I got out of the taxi, rolled over, took my fucking big ass bottle of water, swinging myself around, sat on the pavement, sat there for a good like five, ten minutes contemplating life. Then I was like, I need to find out where I am. I can just walk, I'll figure it out. Got up, looked up, the sign for my apartment building is right there. I was like, well, wow. I remember like stumbling back into my place, dropped all my stuff off. I have my clothes all across the ground on my on my bed right now as it is. Um, yeah, got into bed, woke up this morning, woke up this morning, and I felt like I got hit by a train. So I took myself to the bathroom, it was like emptied myself. Well, I mean, I took a piss. I didn't throw up. But then I was wondering, like, why do I feel so bad? What happened? Why? Because for a hot second, I completely forgot everything that happened yesterday. Then it all flooded back. So on the way back to my bed, I grabbed my camera. I realized I got myself a souvenir from last night. I don't know. It says Tito's. But I forgot the name of the place. So I got myself a... Can you focus? No, I got my I got myself a mug. Yeah, they were I think I forgot what they gave me in this. Was it Moscow Mule? Either way, I got myself a cup. It looks pretty nice. It's a new addition to my kitchen. And that's my story for last night. This was actually supposed to be a job a vlog about the last two weeks where I went to I had children's day. Um, had speech competitions and school, not competition, speech event, exhibition events, whatever you want to call it, in our school, and just how life's been. Oh, my body hurts. But that's for another day. I'll probably do it tomorrow. And that's just my story of how I survived the night. And life goes on. Appreciate everyone for tuning in. And I'll see you on the other side.